Hey guys, Technometry with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you guys how to fix this issue where your account has been disabled in the App Store or iTunes Store. You might have encountered this issue and it could be quite frustrating. And in this video, we're going to explain to you guys why you're seeing that message and then also give you guys a couple of solutions and tips and pretty much troubleshooting in guide that will help you resolve this issue and get you back to wherever you need to to do your stuff on your iPhone. So let's go and talk about why you're seeing that. Well, first, the reason why you see that is that you might have gone to the Apple store or even in your settings here and you've been doing some couple stuff and you're looking to download apps. Well, the reason why you're probably seeing this is that there's been too many attempts, login attempts, and this could happen by accidentally somehow your password was changed or you just entered it incorrectly and that happens. Other reason could be that your device forgot your Apple ID and that happens over time to time if there was a software update or something happened with the phone, software glitch and it doesn't know your device and your Apple ID on it. Another reason could be security reasons. Now, let's say if someone got your Apple ID and they were trying to hack your account to get access to it somehow trying to use your password to log in or trying different passwords to log in trying to hack you but they can't get in so Apple decides to lock it so that someone doesn't accidentally get into your account without you unlocking it so it's kind of a security thing that Apple does and finally it could be because you have some sort of big disputed charges that you made that needs to be cleared up with Apple and that needs to be resolved first because that won't allow you to download or purchase apps on the App Store. So those are the reasons why you might be getting that issue. Now, let's talk about how you can fix this. The first thing, it's gonna be that sometimes when your account gets locked and you're not able to download or even connect to iTunes, if it's that's the case, Apple, generally temporarily locks it for about 24 hours. So if you can wait for 24 hours and give it a try again, that's gonna be your first thing and that's probably the easiest thing to do. Now, if you can't wait and you want to get back and start doing your stuff, the next thing you wanna do is simply go ahead and try to change your password. So to change your password, you're gonna go into settings, you're probably gonna be logged in here if you're already not. And then here, what you're gonna click on is that option where you have password and security and once you click on password and security it might ask you for your password or it might not it might log you back in so let me show you how, what we mean so if you're already logged in so here we're just entering your password but that's going to be your specific password that you want to try and once you're in there what's going to happen either if it's going to ask you for your password or if it might not, you're just going to want to simply change password. And once you click on change password, you're going to get your security questions. You're going to answer that. And then after that, change the password. Now, if you forgot your security answer, you can follow the step and go about doing that. Now, that's one way to get it unlocked so that your account isn't disabled. The next thing you can do is that if you totally don't know your password or you need to reset it there's a couple ways to reset it one way would be simply just going over to your safari browser any browser you have or just say anywhere you can access the internet just put in apple id password reset and once you search that up it should take you to if you forgot your apple id password and simply you can just reset it here so we're going to show you from here on it should take you to the page or possibly on the second link here so here you this is the way we said if you didn't know you can simply just do it from oh you can even go to apple icloud.com so if the link didn't show you to the thing here you can simply go here and then on icloud.com you can just simply forget your app id and then you can put that in and go through the process of pretty much resetting your account and which will unlock it if it was locked for any reason. Now you can also do it from your MacBook or another Apple device as well. The next thing you want to do to troubleshoot this is gonna be simply checking your time setting to your local zone. So what happens is if your iPhone time setting is off, when it tries to reach out to the Apple server, it sees that there's a mismatch and it causes some system issues. And the best way to resolve this is simply going to settings 
and this time in settings you're going to want to go to general and then want to go to date and time and now in date and time by default it's going to probably set automatically which is fine in your time zone you want to make sure your time zone is correct and this one now you're going to play around with this you want to make sure this is accurate if this is not accurate for example if this doesn't match what your local time is in your area you want to manually go ahead and change the date and time to match that or you can just simply set it automatic and if you play around with this it generally picks it up based on your Wi-Fi connection or cellular data based on your zone that you're in and now that should hopefully resolve your issue now that didn't resolve your issue now it's time to do a restart of your phone to restart the iPhone 10 and above one of the newer iPhones you're going to simply hold this big button on the right hand side and then volume up button on the left hand side you're going to press these two buttons together till you see slide to power off and then do that or you can simply just come over to settings and just go to general and all the way at the bottom you have a shutdown and once you start it down it's going to shut down for about a minute give it about a minute and then hold this big button on this side till you see the apple logo up here and that's going to turn on your device and restart your device now if you're still having the issue it might be time to update the software of your phone to the latest version and to update the software again it's going to be in the setting this time you want to go to general software update and here you're going to check to see if there's any update as you can see there's a new update out we can simply download and install it and make sure you connect it to your power adapter cable and have a good strong internet connection so you can download and update your phone lastly if that hasn't worked it's time to do probably the most important step in this video is actually contacting apple support to contact apple support it's going to be pretty straightforward you're going to go to a browser and this time you're going to want to go to pretty much google contact apple and if you go here so it's going to be pretty much in the google support dot apple.com and it'll take you slash contact so it'll take you to this site for the actual apple website and you can simply here go ahead and start a chat about your device so if you're using whatever your device is let's say it's iphone you're going to click on iphone and then basically you can do any of this um most of the time it's going to be your apple id and then you can simply say this option here where you have account has been disabled alert click on that and then you can chat using messages schedule a call however you prefer you usually chatting with this one is simply that help you guys in terms of fixing that disabled account and you are good to go so if this video was helpful any of these method help you let us know and thanks for watching guys see you guys next time